friends, how are you? Welcome to another Directed Drawing with Miss Alicia. In this video, I wanna start getting into a lot of the insects that we're gonna see in the springtime, and I figured it would be awesome to start with a caterpillar. Now, we did a caterpillar, and then in the next video, we're gonna do a butterfly, because caterpillars turn into butterflies. So this caterpillar drawing is pretty easy. I think most of you can do it, especially my three-year-olds. It's a lot of circles. So as long as you know how to do a circle, then you should be able to do this. If not, maybe you could help uh, ask your parents to help you, or I could also put on some caterpillar colorings on the computer for you just to color. But I think we should practice some of our drawing skills, especially with those circles. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're, gonna, we're going to draw a caterpillar hill. So on our paper, whatever you have, if you have a regular piece of white paper, or if you have a whiteboard like me, or if you wanna take this video outside and draw it on the driveway with some chalk, whatever you want, we're going to start with our hill. And a hill is simply up like this, oh, my marker, up like this and down, right? So it's not a straight line, it's one large curve, okay? Now we're gonna draw the caterpillar crawling up the hill, which I thought would be super, super cute. So again, simply we're going to draw circles. Now we're not gonna draw the circles right on this line. We're gonna draw the circles a little bit above it because we have to add the little caterpillar feet on the end. All right, so we're gonna start with the caterpillar's tail down here. And you can make the circles as big or as small as you want. So I'm gonna do my circle. We have one. Okay, we're gonna do the next one. Now keep in mind that the caterpillar's body has to connect. So you have to draw the circle so it's touching the other one. All right, so you have one, two, three. We're gonna follow the path of the hill. All right, let's keep going, we'll add two more. Wow. Does that look like a caterpillar? Well, not quite yet. We have to add a little, um, kind of like a circle for his head. So I figured his head could be more like a rounded square, if that makes sense. It'll make sense once I draw it. So we're instead of making a full circle, we're gonna make almost like a half circle with a little bit of a weirder shape. So it almost looks like a circle, kind of, right? If you want to just make it a circle, that's fine. Yeah, for those of you at home, we'll make it almost more like an oval. All right. So then now we have to add the face. So we're going to add an eyeball. We're going to do another half circle with a dot like that. We're going to do two antennas with dots at the top, okay? We're gonna do a nice smiley face. I'm just gonna add a little bit more black to his eye so it looks like, it's almost like he's looking down the hill, which is really cool. All right, but now we have a caterpillar that's like floating in the air. So what do you think we have to add? The feet. So for every single circle, we're gonna add two little lines for the feet. And you have to make sure that they connect from the circle to the dirt, just like that. One, two. One, two. Right? So we have our beautiful caterpillar. Now, is the part where we always add detail. And Miss Leisha is always talking about detail. You can stop here and say, wow, this is a pretty good drawing, but you could continue to go a little bit further. Since we're on a beautiful hill, why don't we add some flowers to this hill? So we're gonna add small flowers, but we're gonna put them all over the hill. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw dots all over the hill, and that's where our flowers will be. You could add as many as you want, okay? I really like flowers, so I'm gonna add all these. But that's how the flowers look like. Now I have to go in and I have to add the petals. So to make the petals, you just simply do like 
more circles or half ovals. Um, so we're going to do the petals for these. See? I'm doing them fast because I've been making flowers a long time. So you could do them a little bit slower or even have some of your parents help you. I'm adding the flower petals to them. Now these flowers are going to be beautiful because I'm going to make them all different colors. See how, see how the flowers just add more beauty to our hill that this caterpillar is climbing up. We have just all these awesome flowers covering this hill. I wonder why this caterpillar wanted to choose this hill to climb up. Wow, flowers all over the hill. You could even take it a step further and add leaves to the flowers. Just one little leaf like this, right? This step you don't have to. Again, this is just adding details to your project. And this will even look that much better once you color it and add some beautiful color. Right? Again, you could add some, you could add a nice sun. Let's do this sun. I haven't done this sun yet. This sun is pretty easy to make. It's a little pointy, right? For that, you could ju you just do the, the swoopy lines. Right? You could even do another layer of sun rays. Right? That could be a beautiful sun. Hey, that could even be a flower. All you gotta do is add stems to it. That's so funny, look. It's like the caterpillar's trying to get to the flower. And then you add a sun over here if you want. But do you see how the detail turns this project from just a caterpillar on a hill to a beautiful caterpillar on a sunny day trying to smell this flower? The more detail you add, the, awesome, the more awesome your projects look. All right, so I hope you enjoyed our directed drawing of a caterpillar on a beautiful flower hill. And I can't wait to see what your directed drawings look like. Have a great day.